making a specific part from a generic part. Basically there are too many parts, so there's no way of having every specific part in any EDA. And since Fritzing has less parts than most, we have to fudge it a bit. Like if we want a transistor, we'll just grab a generic transistor. And to make it specific, we'll just punch a number in the part number. We'll say this is BC1234. We don't see anything on the part, but we can make it show. In schematic, we have the number. In PCB, we could display the number just by putting part number on. We'll delete that. Back to breadboard. We can also do this with ICs using the generic IC. So we'll scroll down, grab a generic IC. This generic IC has a bit more features than most other parts in that we can make it a specific IC just inside Fritzing. Let's make this IC an ATmega168. The ATmega has 28 pins, so let's make this 28 pins. We click on it, select 28, and it looks physically the same. Here in chip label, we'll type in ATmega168. Now it looks identical, but let's go to schematic. It doesn't look identical. And the way to change that is edit pin labels. Pin 1 on our 80 mega 168 is reset, so we'll punch reset in here. And we'll just save that. And now as you can see, it's looking a lot closer. I'll do the same for all the rest, but I won't bore you. OK, we have all our pins and we'll save that. And now you can see it's pretty much the same. And if you're going to use this part again, you should probably save it as a new part. New Parts Editor. Save as new part. It's now at the bottom of the bin. You can even do it with SMDs. Grab your generic IC. Let's change this to a TQFP. We'll edit the pin labels. We'll just change one. VCC, save that. We'll change the IC to a 1234. Enter. We go to our schematic. And we see our 1234 IC with the VCC pin. And that covers how to make a generic IC into a specific IC.